guys, it's Rebecca from Loom Band for you, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this double hexafish bracelet. Um, yeah, so let's get started. You will need some loom bands, an S or C clip. You also need a hook, any hook, um, a loom, same again, any loom, but it will be easier to do it on a loom which you can take apart and then put it back together again, like the rainbow loom or whatever loom because the pegs are straight well you can put them straight on the rainbow loom you can't take it apart or on the band loom okay and it's in the stagger position where all the it works basically like triangles or arrows yeah so it will be easier to use the rainbow loom so that's the loom that I'm going to be using for this whole band bracelet whatever you want to call it you will only need four pegs you it needs to be in a square you can't do it in a row of four it has to be like one two one two okay you can use as many colors as you want I'm only going to use two, and that's going to be blue and purple. So, off we go. First of all, I'm going to get my colours. Okay, right. What you're going to do is, let me zoom in for you so it's going to be easier for you to see. Okay, there we go. What we're going to do is, on the left, peg we're going to put a loom band yeah and then with that one we're going to make up eight from the left peg to the right peg and then from the right peg to the bottom right peg we're going to do another eight and then from the bottom right peg to the bottom left peg, another eight. And then from the bottom left peg to the top left peg, we're going to do another eight. So it's just like this. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is push them down and put your next colour on. But in zeros, because these are the... The eights that you've just laid down are the only eights that you're going to do throughout the whole bracelet, okay? You're going to put a blue, or whatever colour you want, from the top left to the top right. Then from the top right to the bottom right, another one. Then bottom right to bottom left, same again, with the bottom left to the top left, okay? Now we're going to do hooking. You can turn it to the side. Well, I am, because it's going to be easier for you to see. And you're going to grab the bottom two bands. So, mine are purple. You can take them, put it over the top of the blues, or whatever colour you've got. Then do that again with, the, with these ones. Okay, and turn it around the other side. Oh, sorry. Turn it around the other side. Do this one. This one's a bit harder. <laughs> okay, let me just put it on the floor. Just there, and then 
game with this one. You could do it one by one or do both of them at the same time, it doesn't matter. Oh, this one doesn't want to come out. Okay. Oh, so fiddly. There we go. So now it should look like this. Okay. Then you're going to put the third colour on. Like that. 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 And that. And then you're going to take the bottom two again over the top. Bottom two. Bottom two again over the top. Bottom two again over the top. And bottom two again over the top. Now you're going to carry on doing this until you think your bracelet is long enough and then I will tell you how to end it okay you can fast forward to the end if you have already done this or just carry on watching me while you do it okay yep Okay, I might just make a small one to show you how to finish it off, but you, remember you can make it as long as you want. Now this could be turned into a bracelet, necklace, hairband or even a pencil cover. Okay, so you just do that. I'm going to do a few more just to show you how to do it. Okay. This is going to be my last. Well, I'm going to do one more after this. Then I'll show you how to end it. Okay. One more, and then I'll end it. Yep, just like that, like that. And like that okay so now I'm going to show you how to end it you might want to pull it from the bottom so it goes a bit stretchy like that so that's your bracelet it looks like that 
you're going to get it from the bottom right hand corner and put it to this one, the top left hand corner, and then top right hand corner to the top left hand corner. Okay, then bottom left hand corner to your top left hand corner. Okay, so it all looks like that. It's quite a lot bands on one hook, one peg, sorry. Oh, Alright, then you're going to put your hook through. Sorry, I didn't show you that. <laughs> put your peg. Ugh, I'm getting really mixed up with these words. Put your hook through the peg, grab all the bands, take it off. Then you're going to get one of the colours that you used. I'm going to put purple, put it, your purple on the hook, whatever colour you used, and slaveed all of, all of these loom bands onto the purple loom bands, and then put it on the hook like that, and create a Slip knot by putting the bottom band over the top band and pulling tightly. Now you can make it into like, well, I don't know, a little charm like that or a red. Well, it won't look like this. Look, this small, but you can make a bracelet. Or necklace, okay. Yep, so you just put it on that. If you want to make a bracelet or necklace or ring, if you want to make a ring, do that. Put the S clip on, then you get your hook, and you can see at the bottom it creates like a flower or four leaf clover or something. You put your hook through all of these loom bands. Yeah. Okay. Then you get the opposite colour and then slide it on again. Okay. Just like so. And create one more slip knot by Pulling the bottom loom band over the top loom band and pulling tightly. And then, oh, it kind of looks like a little sweet, you know, the ones that you get in a small wrappers. And then you add this side to the S clip, just like that. And it creates like a ring or something. Okay? It's quite big for a ring. And make a really tight bracelet. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Hope you enjoyed.